Hi and welcome back for a new review. We are looking at a brand new brand today. I shopped their very first launch and it has taken over three weeks to arrive but it is finally here. This brand is by Lynn Lowe's so she's on Instagram. She has her own workout programs and I think she's released an app recently as well. This is her active wear brand which I don't know how to pronounce the name. So the brand is, I'm going to put up on the screen, I don't know if it's Stacy, Stassi, I don't know because it's Swedish, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it, apparently it's short for like Anastasia. So I don't know how it shortens down, but that's how it's spelled. So it was an interesting sale. Everything was in US dollars. So it bumped up the price with customs and postage and everything like that. So I was able to get three items and it also was $32 for shipping, which made my total $185 in USD. So this ended up over over $200 once it converted for me. So it didn't have any like PayPal payment or anything either. So it just came straight out of my bank. So whatever $185 converts to. So it was $32 USD for shipping. So even more, which is I think ridiculous for shipping no matter where it's coming from, especially just for something this size um, and then because it came straight out of my bank I then got a surprise I think seven dollar charge for a transfer fee so that was fun as well so it ended up a little bit more expensive than I thought so I'm really hoping it's worth it um, everything is currently sold out but she is doing a restock I think next month and then a new launch in a month or two after that so you will be able to hopefully get your hands on a few things. I did want to get another pair of the leggings but they were white and I got a bit scared being a new brand so I didn't get them just yet. Especially because it was adding up price wise as well. But enough of that we will open up the parcel and let's have a look at what we got. Okay so firstly the postage bag is cute on its own and then... Everything is open. Okay, so the zip on that one is broken. That one was just undone, but they come in these little zip bags, but it's a thicker quality. I know that they have said about reusing them, just taping the holes up, and then you can use them like when you're traveling to put like your shampoo and stuff in so they don't leak through your bag, which is a good idea for reusing. And then they got a little bit about the brand on the back of the bags as well. And they also come with a little care guide which tells you about how to look after your new active wear as well. But what we did get, a pair of leggings, a crop top and a and the jumper I'm pretty sure. Everything is in an extra small. Okay so we're going to start with the crop top the sports bra so this is the Stella divine bra in the snowstorm color so this one comes in the white and black so it is a really stretchy feeling material so it's a a ribbed material with like a netting type thing across the front so like a over layer so it does have removable cup pads it is thin straps and they're stretchy so hopefully they're still supportive but it's got basically four straps on it and then on the front it does also have a little logo there and that is the only logo it's pretty plain everywhere else but we will try it on and see how it fits. Alright so this is the sports bra on. 
so it actually fits really nicely it's not overly tight like it's still got that stretch to it but it also doesn't feel like it's going to slip and move around either except for maybe this front layer might slip a little bit but that's not going to affect how supportive it is um, the cup pads are sitting kind of like a push-up at the moment <laughs> um, but they are sitting like they finish halfway across I might take those out and I think I would like it better but it does fit really nice it's quite flattering it's not cut too low I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out of it either and then the back is just a nice strappy simple back and I've got the tag sticking out but again like they're not adjustable straps but they don't feel too loose at all and they've still got extra stretch to them too so I I do really like this sports bra I don't really have anything in white so let's hope I can keep it as white as it is because white and me are not friends they do not go well together um, so hopefully it washes okay in a white wash but I will definitely be following the care instructions for this one to make sure it stays this white next we're going to have a look at the jumper so the jumper is the Cosmo crop in black pearl I actually don't know if it's a proper jumper okay so it's it's definitely not a proper like a thick jumper it's just a thin kind of like a long sleeve thickness um, but it does have cuffed thicker sleeves on it like a bit more of a jumper style um, but the fabric itself is very very thin it is a quarter zip on the front there and then on the back it's got the logo very subtly on the like it's big but it's actually like indented into the material which is different I have not seen that before normally it's like 3d but that goes in so we'll try this on and see how it fits okay so it is on I'll just it's got a little pull tie don't mind me and my baggy trackies at the moment it's a cold day but it is just one of those pull type ties on the front so that kind of cinches it in I think that's as far as I can pull it and you can tuck that in if you don't want it hanging out as well like that and then it's got the zip and a bit of a collar I guess so you can have it completely up and have it as like a high neck but that does not feel very good um, but otherwise it's like a, a collar collared shirt it's definitely more like a long sleeve an overseas oversized long sleeve top more than a jumper so I don't know if it was actually meant to be a jumper or just a long sleeve top that could be my bad and then you've got the detail on the back there so it's a little bit more than what I'd want to spend on just a top if it was a jumper I wouldn't be as bad at that price but just for a, a long sleeve top that's a little bit expensive but it's too late now because I've already got it but I'll still wear it for sure it's a cute design um, so we've got one more item to have a look at we have the leggings so these are the serendipity serendipity I'm assuming is how you say it in the black ink so these ones actually came in four colors I think four or five colors um, I just went with basic black to begin with so they've got the logo on the back of the waistband there they are a scrunch ruched scrunch bum but it's meant to be 
like an invisible scrunch if that makes sense because to me it still kind of just looks like a normal scrunch um, they are a thick waistband and it's in a really soft brushed material which is definitely going to peel but we will try them on and see how they fit because they do look quite long so we'll see how they are lengthwise on me all right so these are the leggings on they are super soft they do feel super comfortable i do find it is a little bit too much for the waistband like it's a lot bigger than like my hand like that is a massive front of a waistband it is way up over my belly button but as soon as you you do get like a camel toe situation but I feel like it's just not enough material between here and the waistband like it's just a really short area and then all that is just waistband so I find that's just a really strange design choice and um, they do have the really long crutch gusset thing which is meant to help stop the camel toe situation but that isn't stopping it with these leggings uh, but the back is quite flattering I do like the back like the waistband doesn't seem anywhere near as high on the back and the scrunch is definitely a very flattering scrunch it's not super in your face so yeah I I'm not sure what we're going to do though is something a little bit different I'm gonna wear these things for a couple of workouts I'll add little bits of the workouts of the into the video as well just so I can test them out and see what they're like in action and then we'll come back for my final thoughts on everything because at the moment I'm a little bit torn if I like or hate well I wouldn't say hate but whether I just they're okay or if I love them like I'm very torn and the price of these has not helped so we will do some testing and see what I think in the end Um, so you will have just seen the workouts that I've done in the active wear. I am going to put up a squat test included here as well so you can see because I'm not sure in the videos if you can see how squat proof the leggings are. So I'll put my normal squat test in too. Overall thoughts, so for the jumpery toppy type thing, whatever it is, I actually quite liked it. Um, it's good for those in between days where you don't want a full on jumper but it's too cold to just go out in a t-shirt or something. So I found just chucking this on over the crop was good on those days. Um, the only thing I don't like is a little drawstringy thing that cinches it in but if you don't cinch it, it just kind of hangs, just kind of hangs and I don't know, it just doesn't look as flattering, like it's not bad. So when you cinch it in, you kind of have to tuck the string in, otherwise it just looks strange hanging out the bottom. Um, but that's just a minor detail that isn't anything bad. I know some people really like the drawstrings. It's just one of those things that bugs me a bit. Um, but other than that, the jump is actually quite nice. The crop top was good. It was good support. Like it wasn't like I didn't feel like I was going to fall out. I didn't do cardio in it other than some walking, but I don't know if you're a bit of a larger chest size than me it might not be supportive but I didn't have any issues with that the crop was actually probably my favorite part um, and then the leggings so 
I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they just pick up so much fluff. Like every time I turn around, there's more fluff stuck to them. Um, and just the fabric looks like it's going to start pilling. Like it's been a few days of wearing them. They've been through the wash. And I followed their wash guidelines and it's it was doing it before I started to wash it and I just I think it's going to pill it's just that kind of fabric but it is super soft they are definitely too long on me they get very bunchy one of my walks which I will show you I got rained on but what I didn't realize is the leggings and this top are actually kind of water resistant so I don't know if that was on purpose well, the top was water resistant, the leggings weren't, but they dried super quickly. Like, they would dry before I even got home. Overall thoughts, I, I like everything. I would like to see what her other leggings are like, though. If their waistbands are different. I know they'll be different fabrics, so it would be interesting to see how they fit. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much everything I've got to say. Not bad for their very first launch. I know they are restocking in September, so probably by the time I post this, will probably be in September by then. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and want to see future videos. Um, but yeah, that is everything. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.